at some point soon, we don't know if that's a week or six months from now, yeah. COVID, coronavirus, it'll be another bad illness, but it won't be the only illness. Yeah, and yeah. At some point, the, the, the reality in that you can't just focus on one problem because we don't have that luxury. We have yeah. other people that have other ailments that uh, also need the same attention, but they're, they don't get it because, yeah. again, it's unprecedented. And the world has this, you know, it, and we're learning about supply chain. We're learning about absolutely. What? Wow! What a great example that is. Yeah. So I mean, and how that impacts us. For example, we we buy our engines from Germany and Switzerland. Yeah. Okay. So it's the only part of our plane that we don't build is the engine. Yeah. And because that, because of that, you know, you have to. Okay. What is what is Germany doing differently than us? Yeah. Why does that matter to me? Why does it matter to the U.S. Navy what happens in Germany? Because some of their aircraft. Are powered by engines that are built there. Yeah, and and so I think that it's a it's a good opportunity for the world to make the supply networks and supply chain more robust. Yeah, uh, to look at areas that are more vulnerable to collapse in the supply. Uh, I, I think of China. China builds a lot of stuff. China builds a lot of stuff because America and other Western countries put their manufacturing plants there, took advantage of of smart people that work for cheap, and they yeah. create these. These, these networks that are not sustainable in the long term, yeah. but, but how is that going to balance out? So the world's not never going to be the same. And I think a lot of that is going to be focused on how, do, how does the world supply itself? Like, how do, we, how do we buy medicines? How do we buy watches? How do we buy batteries, cars, airplanes? All of that's changing. And we yeah. get to be a part of that right now, and we get to see how that happens. And we get to watch the world's political leadership learn from commercial businesses around the world how best to do that because yeah. governments just can't they just can't do it so industry is going to figure that out it'll be interesting to watch Could, couldn't couldn't agree with you more and you know w one of the things that i've <clears throat> and I, I don't want to sound like a old man but one of the things i think that uh, in particular in america is we've gotten soft i mean we've gotten we, we we've been so wealthy, so privileged, so protected for so long that I think a lot of people are just scared to death of this virus. But at some point, and I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, but at some point, we're going to have to get out there and go back to work. We're going to have to just accept that there are going to be people that get infected with this. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to have to deal with it. We're just going to have to be mentally resilient. I, I think some of the time, and, and again, particularly I'm, I'm speaking about American citizens, because I know a lot more about that than other countries, but we, but we, our risk profile is too low. We're not, we're not willing to take some smart risk. And the problem, as you know, of course, is if we don't get the economy restarted, and we can do it in different ways, you know, slow rollouts and stuff like that. But if we don't get the economy started, then, then truly the the death and disease and addiction and all that'll be way worse than, than the virus was. And so and you know, we're just going to have to, you know, tighten our belts a little bit, I think, and toughen up. And, 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 you know, the other thing that's great, Blake, is like you mentioned, we can see what other countries are doing. In the United States, we have the advantage of having a federal system where the states can do different things. And so we're going to see Georgia is opening. We're going to see how that works. And if that works, we can follow that model. We can do different models in different places. So let me ask you this question before I get off the phone. Where can people find you and your company online if they're interested? Sure. So they can look at uh, www.martinuab.com. And that's uh, Martin with an I. UAB. Uh, all right. Awesome. Well, Blake, uh, tell your family I said hi. And thanks again for all, all your time, buddy. All right. Thank you, Brian. Hi, right, man.